Hello everybody and today we have a bit of a different one for my channel. I wouldn't normally record this sort of thing, but when I saw that it was delivered like this, I felt it would be rude of me not to. So for those of you unaware, this is the new Blood Angels limited edition box and me doing an unboxing of it. I'm a little bit... So this is the first time I have ever purchased a Black Library limited edition book because normally I think they're ridiculously priced and sure enough this one was let's not pretend it wasn't interesting so I'm also going to be honest I have read the Blood Angel series of books starting with Dante doing Devastation of Ball etc and I was supremely unimpressed with it. Uh, they, yeah, they just kind of, they didn't do it well. Uh, but this isn't a book review channel, so I'm not going to tell you about that, because that gets like zero hits. So, Darkness in, blo in the Blood. Let's see what we get. Basically, I bought this because I was pretty hyped for the, uh, for the, uh, the... The little things that you got in it. So, Darkness in Blood by Guy Haley. For Sanguinius for the Emperor. Turn it the other way. Tainted Blood for Tainted Rituals. The duality of man! Take a look at this. Fancy. Signed by Guy Haley, number 396 of 1500. Start with some funky artwork, and then we probably get into it. Oh, starts with an author's introduction. Interestingly, it finishes with Teus of Bull. I don't know what that means. There you go, that's the book itself. I will say, just very briefly, that whilst Games Workshop does do beautiful limited editions, from a business perspective, they are being incredibly anti-consumer and I hate them for it. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's totally accepted practice and no issues from me, personally, to release limited edition books. I think that's thumbs up. However, what they're doing is they're gatekeeping the lore of this book behind a huge price tag, which is, if I'm honest, very scummy. Um, what they should do is release the limited edition box and all of that, but also release um, a hardback, a regular hardback or a paperback or a digital. Potentially, if there are, uh, you know, production issues so they can't do another physical copy, fair enough, release it digitally. Do not gatekeep the book. Because the thing is, some a lot of people read this just for the new law. They're not going to... Like, by the time um, this book in six months' time releases, they won't need to buy it. Because, like... It's it's all already been leaked onto uh, R slash 40k law. Uh, this is the Dante book. I thought this uh, wasn't a very good book. Oh, I apologise. It's not a Dante book. That is way more useful to me. This is actually just um, a notebook. Oh, I'm actually going to use this. Shit. I did not expect that to happen. I thought this was just um, the Dante book. I thought you got two books in one. Well, that's awesome. Oh, it's fallen out. Right, let's put that back in. Okay, so this is why I really bought this. Let's not mess around, okay? I bought this because I have a raging hard on for funky things like this. Okay, so this is a measurement gauge. Without, oh no it's not, I'm being retarded, sorry. This is um, a, a bookmark. 
Uh, so you slide that. I'm not going to use it because why would I do that? But uh, a funky idea for a bookmark. Um, yeah, cool. I actually okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it. I thought that was a measurement gauge for the 40k game. I thought they'd done like some funky things with it. They hadn't. It's just a bookmark. They missed a trick. Why couldn't they have made the bookmark also be for that? That is a pin. I will never wear this. But, you know what? I wanted it. So there you go. Oh, weirdly... This, if you ignore the outlines, which is obviously the Sanguinius Death Mask, ignore that. Just the face itself... Remind, you know, because it's got the logs, reminds me way more of uh, Gwilliman. Hmm. Hmm. Obviously, the blood time, that's going to be my new chess clock. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't get them out. Disaster. Can I get any of them out? No. Let's look at the dice before I figure out how to get those out. Lovely little uh, blood red pouch. Obviously. Everything's going to be red and gold. With uh, six delightful dice. Let's open these up. Ooh. Ooh. Let's take a look at them. Uh, so, is that going to be. Yeah, so that's the one, that's the six. Very nice. Let's see how they roll. Will these ever actually be rolled? Let's, let's find out. Three sixes. I'm going to use these in kill team. Excellent. Good. That's the way GW should be doing their business model. Sell weighted dice in their uh, collector's editions. They will fly off the shelves. Right, I need a tool to get these out because I don't think I can. Because I have no nails, GW. I have no nails. Sanguinius, give me strength. I'm going to have you use a scissor. That's exactly what this is for. Oh, God. Uh, I need smaller scissors. I have smaller scissors, so it's fine. There is no way this can go well. Fuck it. I want that one to stay there. That's what I've decided. Right. What have we got here? So I'm assuming that's uh, Mephiston. You know, Lord of Death. Might be wrong though. Because that... Oh, is that uh, not Grimaldus? Is it Grimaldus? The chaplain. Hmm. Hmm. Pass. Hard pass. Oh, or is it Astrolith? As you can tell, my Blood Angel lore is sadly lacking. This would then be Corbulo, I guess, because it's got that. And this thing is going to be Dante, I'm sure, but uh, it's stuck. And I literally can't get it out without pulling everything out, so I'm not going to do that. And then we go to the pièce de résistance. Please do not take that as an insult, my French followers. A nice little vial of blood can confirm does work. Oh, delightful. Anyway, this has been an unboxing of various things. Uh, was this worth the money? No. But I don't think anybody kind of, you know, went into this thinking, oh, this is totally going to be worth the money. 100%. Oh, yeah, easy. No. I went into this knowing that I'm a fool. And a fool I am. Put that back in. That goes on top. Then this folds this way, then this goes here. Boom. And... 
darkness in the blood. Delightful. And there you go, everybody. This has been Glass Half Dead's uh, gentle, hopefully I've put some nice background music to kind of soothe the soul, uh, unboxing of Darkness in the Blood, the collector's edition uh, from GW there. But yes, really, the, the main thing to remember here is that Games Workshop needs to not gatekeep their content behind gigantic paywalls, uh, which will then release six months later, which doesn't make any sense for anybody. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you've had a good day. Obviously, this is uh, something that I don't normally do, and uh, it certainly won't become a regular th bit of my content, but here we go. And have a good day, everybody. Bye.